All right, the next project here is the mainstream kingfish. That's not a kingfish, but <laughs> that's what it's called. I sat in it and it seems pretty comfortable. It's got uh, two, um, what do you call them? Uh, zigzag cleats on it. Previous owner made his own handles for it. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else I see on there. I don't know, he made this too. I guess that's another handle for like picking it up and stuff. I noticed that this bungee over here is bad right here, so I'm gonna replace that. Uh, it's got a, a GoPro mount. I don't know if it'll fit other cameras, but it looks like a GoPro mount. It's got the indent for a bucket or a crate. It's got molded in rod holders. What I thought of with that is uh, if you get some, where did I put them? get some one and a quarter one and a quarter inch pvc these are actually some of those those cheapy little black shelvings the plastic shelving these are the little poles that uh, so you can have uh, rod holders that are a little higher but i would suggest go get one and a quarter inch pvc and cut you a couple of links of it go get a three foot piece cut it in half and there's your two built-in rod holders <laughs> I don't know if you want to be sitting on those. What does it fit over here? Oh wow, look at that. Hey, as long as you're not using this part for your feet, your feet fit over here. You can use one of these, just drill a hole here so that if, actually, well, I was gonna say, put it the other way, but yeah, it'll go in the other way. See, when I'm fishing, I like to have a rod holder up in front of me. So when I'm dealing with a fish, I have a place to set the rod. These are just ideas I'm coming up with while I'm looking at it. <clears throat> uh, it's got the, uh, I guess you put a little tackle box there or uh, one of those, uh, what do you call them? Those locking waterproof cases. It's got a hatch in the back. A lot of them are missing the back hatch. It's a small hatch, but it's a hatch. I believe it has the bag in it. I don't remember whether I saw the bag in it or not when I opened it the first time. Yeah, the bag's in there. So It's got good handles. The handles are not broken. What does that say? Kayak carrier with K's. I don't know why people think it's cool to change C's to K's and S's to Z's. Just anyway. I mean, it's pretty clean. Um, I mean, there's literally no damage on the bottom. There's a little bit of. I mean, I'm used to getting kayaks that have the bottom beat the heck out of them. And this one looks pretty good. I don't see any... I don't really see any damage on it. There's just, just a few rub marks. So... The mainstream kingfish, it's a 12-foot kayak. What is that? Oh, it's a bag. And it's wired for a uh, it's wired for a depth finder. The transducer is actually siliconed in or whatever, epoxied or whatever. But the transducer is back here. So let me rig it up. No. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to rig it up and then show you all the accessories that will come with it. Okay. I got it set up. <clears throat> the Scotty rod holder here can either hold a Scotty rod or a Scotty rod holder or 
I've got it in simulator mode. It's the Fish Easy 320C by Eagle. It's got a Harmony seat. It's got a crate with uh, rod holders in it. I'm going to replace the bungee in the front, so no need to worry about that. <clears throat> I added a little piece of string to the drain plug because there was nothing on it. And that's all you need is to get that thing knocked off while you're draining it. And there you go. The mainstream kingfish. You got the little crate on it. That's a bare bones crate. I usually do a lot more to my crates than that. That's just the crate that came with it. And it's got a little dirt on it. But I sat in it and it is very stable. It doesn't have the... It's like a... I don't know, is it a, is it a tri hole? Let's see. It's kind of a tri hole. Mainstream Kingfish. And I'm going to sell it fully rigged. Unless it happens like last time. I had another kayak that I fully rigged it. Uh, I would suggest adding an anchor trolley to it. Um, <clears throat> I think the previous guy was just using a cleat on each side. I didn't clip this in. I just set it there. There you go. Well, let me finish what I was saying. I've actually, it's going to jump back to the fully rigged kayak, but uh, what I was saying was that uh, I had a, a Perception Pescador 12 that I fully rigged for fishing. I thought, I'm going to sell this to a diehard fisherman, and it wound up being a lady who just wanted to, buy, to use it for recreational use, and uh, she wanted me to strip everything off of it. I left the anchor trolley on it because it was just two loops and a piece of string and I told her she could use that for tying herself out to a tree branch put a put a little carabiner or a, or a one of those in those uh, what do you call them those clamps like you use for uh, clamping things together the little two dollar clamps that you can get at Home Depot but yeah this was this one's going fully rigged and like I said unless somebody <laughs> unless somebody decides they want it unrigged but the uh, depth finder stuff is built in, so I'd have to do a little work to remove that. Overall, it's a pretty nice and stable kayak. Um, pretty good looking, too. Hey, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Send me a dollar. Thanks for watching.